Remember, computers think in binary, and that includes the way they process IP addresses. But we view IP addresses in decimal. So how do we convert from decimal to binary? Let's start by creating a conversion chart. We know that the first place to the right will have a value of 1, so we will put a 1 here. The next place over will double that and have a 2. The next will double that and be a 4. We will continue this process until we have 8 places and the final column has a value of 128. Next, we need a number to convert. The number can be anything between 0 and 255. Let's do 146. The first thing we need to ask is if 146 is greater than 128. It is, so we will put a 1 in the 128 spot and then subtract 128 from 146 which leaves us with 18. So since we have 18 left, the next question is 18 bigger than 64. It's not, so we're going to put a 0 here. Next is 18 bigger than 32. Again, it's not, so we're going to put a 0 here. Is 18 larger than 16? It is, so we're going to put a 1 here, and then we're going to subtract 16 from 18, which leaves us with 2. 2 is not greater than 8, so we're going to put a 0 here. 2 is not greater than 4, so we're going to put a 0 here. 2 is equal to 2. So when we're looking at greater than, we're actually looking at greater than or equal to. So since 2 is equal to 2, we're going to go ahead and put a 1 here. And then 2 minus 2 equals 0, so that means over here under the 1, we're going to put a 0 as well. So that's it. We have successfully converted 146 to the binary 1001010. Okay, now it's your turn. Uh, let's take the number 47, and I'll give you a minute, uh, pause the video, and convert it, and then we'll see if you get the same answer I do. So here's what we should have. 47 in binary is 00101111. Alright, so let's try one more. Let's try 223. So how'd we do? 223 converted to binary should be 11011111. Okay, by this point, you should be comfortable with converting from decimal to binary. So we've converted from decimal to binary. Now we need to convert from binary back to decimal. Now we're going to do this by going back to our binary chart. This time, we're just going to start with the binary numbers and then convert them to decimal. So here's our binary chart, this time from left to right. It's 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Now, let's pick a binary number. Let's do 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So all we need to do is add up every column where there's a 1. So we're going to add 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1. And when we add those all up, we get 2, 1, 0, 9. So our binary pattern 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 in decimal is 1, 0, 9. So once again, it's your turn. Convert the binary pattern 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Once again, I'll give you a few seconds. Go ahead and pause the video and resume it when you're done. So here's what we've got. The binary pattern 11010110 should have a decimal value of 214. So, by now you should be comfortable converting from decimal to binary and binary to decimal. Take some time every so often and practice. Convert a number from binary to decimal and then from decimal back to binary or the other way around. Either way, just do a little bit of practice and before long it should be second nature.